chocolate, fruit and nut. Welcome to Sanjeev Kapoor's Khazana. This is Chef Anil Rohira. Today I'm going to share with you one of my most profound and favorite recipes. I probably think you're expecting something really big and elaborate and fancy, but let me tell you, this is something so very simple, but yet so very delicious. It's very, very simple. By the time we're done, you're going to tell me, Chef, there was nothing to it, but believe me, once you indulge, you know what I'm talking about. So the recipe I'm talking about is chocolate, fruit, and nut. We have melted and tempered milk chocolate, 38%, lightly roasted pistachios, raisins, cranberries, candied orange peel, dried apricots, and almonds. Now, this recipe is so very versatile, you can select and uh, bring together an assortment of dried fruits and nuts of your choice. This recipe is not just delicious, it's nutritious as well. So what we are going to do is take your chocolate at about 28 degrees Celsius. We're going to pipe it into a little disc. Now this can be an excellent exercise for your family, with your kids. I have done this at home with my girls and they've enjoyed making this. So in order to make sure that you get all your chocolate discs right and garnish them with different fruits and nuts of different flavor profiles and colors because it looks really very attractive when all this comes together in a small little disc of chocolate. And uh, just to make sure again that all your discs are similar size, what we've done here is outlined a small one or two rupee coin, just as acts as a guideline, and then we're going to pipe the chocolate on top on a different piece of paper. Once you're done piping this, you can take this out and use this as a template for your next application. Now what determines the selection of the fruits and nuts? Well, in my opinion, what I like to incorporate in this little confection is a diversity of different flavors, textures, and more importantly, combine it with a base, uh, which is in this case, a 38% chocolate that is very, very rich in flavor profile. Now, it's very important, you can say, you know, I'll just pick some fruits and nuts and put this together. But to get the best results, select the best possible ingredients you can find. So in this case, I have the acidity from my cranberries, uh, from my apricots, some nice citrus aromas and flavors from my orange peel. I have the crunch from the almond and the pistachios. And I have the nice delicate touch of the raisin. So I'm already so excited to get into making this so I can have one really soon. I'm sure you feel the same way. And what we can do is also line it up into a sheet pan so it becomes easier for us to then transport it into the refrigerator for the chocolate to crystallize. So here I have a piping bag. You can make one of your own with paper or you can get disposable ones from the market. I'm going to take the milk chocolate, pour it into a piping bag. Make sure you seal it nice and tight. And we're just going to snap the edge off the bag. Make sure you don't snap off too much because then the chocolate is flowing and you have very little control. It's best you snap a little bit and then you can always come back and chop some more off if you like. So I start in the middle pipe to the shape of the circle we have. One, two, three, four, and five. As soon as you have five, keep your bag. And now it's time to put your selection of fruits and nuts. So I'm going to start, and of course you can organize them or you can assemble them in probably the most attractive way you find fit. So I'm going to put my apricot, my orange, and here we go. It's very important that you work in a nicely ventilated, cool air room. If it's very hot, the chocolate will not crystallize. And there's room for almonds. Now this is a really good exercise with kids. I mean, if it's holiday season, if it's an occasion, if it's an, a time to give somebody a gift, there's nothing better than homemade chocolate and of the highest quality, mind you, that's very important. You're selecting the best ingredients, the best available fruits and nuts. So you have a nice variety of textures, flavors, appearance is great, and different dimensions and depth when it comes to looking at it visually. We can continue in this fashion and we can make as many as you like. 
But believe me, I can't make as much as I like to eat. So I'm sure you'll enjoy it as well.